Good afternoon, everybody. It's Dave from Manor Park Classics. I'd just like to introduce you to our week's new arrivals. We've had a busy week here and we're heading towards our next sale, which is at the end of October. So here we have first in the lineup, quite unusual for us, we've got a Rotrax 500cc Speedway bike with a Jap 500cc single engine in it. Uh, built in the 1950s, as you can see, a very nice example. Has won some classic bike shows in its time and is presented to us in a, in a lovely condition. Next to that, we have a 1980 Yamaha DT175. Bit of a blast from the past for anybody who's uh, enjoyed doing a bit of trail riding in their days. Again, a very clean and tidy bike and uh, all the details are available on our website. Next to that, we have a, a 2010, sorry, Kawasaki uh, Ninja 250. Very tidy little bike, done very low mileage. It's A2 compliant, so anybody who's just passed their test and isn't capable of riding their larger bikes can ride this on an A2 license. Just needs an MOT and that one's back on the road. Next to that, we have a 1996 Yamaha FZR 1000X up. These are getting quite rare these days, the late 1990s super bikes. This one, again, is a very, very clean example with low mileage. All the details and more pictures are available on our website. Next to that, we have a very unusual bike. Not many people will have seen one of these. It is a Bimota v from 1997, a 500cc two-stroke V-twin. This is the Evolusione model, which is the Carburetta model, full carbon fiber bodywork has done only 45 miles. It's a bit of a one-off machine, really. I can't find another one on the internet for sale, so quite a, quite a rare example, that. Next to that, a 1976 Honda CB754. These bikes are always popular. We do quite a few of these. They always sell. A nice, clean, genuine example here. Not a big job to take it up to a full restoration or something that you could run on a daily basis. A very easy bike to run and a, a nice clean example there. Next to that, you've got sort of bigger brother, the 1980 Honda GL 1100 Goldwing. Flat four, Goldwing, big cruiser, shaft drive, 1980. Only two UK registered owners. This bike was registered from new uh, in the UK, although originally it was destined for Holland. So it's got a, a kilometer speedometer, but it's only ever been in the UK. So uh, quite a rare machine. And then last by no means least, we've got a 1961 Aerial T25. Very, very clean bike. Had a very good restoration done on it. As you can see, it's all fully complete um, and ready, ready to hit the road. If you need any more details, everything is available on our website, www.manaparkclassics.com or head to TikTok and all the videos are on there. Thank you for your time.